On February 23, 1997, one of the century's greatest scientific achievements was unveiled before the eyes of a stunned world. Her name was Dolly the Sheep. Scientists at the Roslyn Institute near Edinburgh, Scotland, had created the first successful clone of an adult mammal. Their achievement had profound implications for society. A Church of Scotland report has called for an independent commission to be set up to examine the ethics of biotechnology. The announcement of Dolly's existence ignited a firestorm of controversy over cloning's possible uses and abuses. Even the president of the U.S. felt compelled to comment on the implications of this startling breakthrough. Each human life is unique, born of a miracle that reaches beyond laboratory science. I believe we must respect this profound gift and resist the temptation to replicate ourselves. Previously, most experts had believed the creation of a clone from an adult mammal was impossible, the stuff of science fiction. Clones had been created before, but they had been engineered from embryo cells or from the adult cells of plants and non-mammals. Dolly represented a major scientific advance. Researchers had never before successfully used a cell from a fully grown adult mammal to make a genetically identical copy or clone of that mammal. To create Dolly, scientists at the Roslyn Institute first extracted a cell from an adult sheep and then grew the cell in the lab for six days. The next step was to take an unfertilized egg from a second sheep, remove the DNA from that egg, and combine the egg with the cell from the first sheep. The resulting embryo was then placed in a third sheep. This third sheep gave birth to Dolly, an exact genetic copy or clone of the first sheep. The potential benefits and dangers that could come from producing exact genetic copies of animals, possibly including humans, were staggering. Dr. Ian Wilmot led the research team that created Dolly. I don't think we can begin to estimate uh, what new understanding this will offer, not only for normal health, but also for, for human diseases. And I think that our successors undoubtedly will see that that use will be very important. Cloning technology promises to aid in the creation of medicinal drugs for human use. It also offers the potential to greatly improve the livestock breeding process, as well as to help repopulate endangered species. Scientists in China are claiming a breakthrough in their attempts to clone the giant panda. A team at Beijing's Institute of Zoology say they've already successfully copied some of the key steps used in the creation last year of Dolly the cloned sheep. In addition to ongoing experiments, researchers have succeeded since Dolly in cloning other mammals, such as mice and calves. Today, potential problems with cloning adult mammals are being investigated. Recent findings indicate clones like Dolly may have a tendency to age faster than their natural-born counterparts. But as for the long-term consequences of Dolly's creation and of cloning in general, only time will tell.